Hey there, hockey card fans. It's that hockey card guy, and today we are going to go with some 2019-20 hockey allure. New product with incredible hits. Well, it's a year old now. Um, what happened was uh, I, I, I sent in a, a damaged card back to Upper Deck, and they tried to fix it and clean it and send it back to me in worse condition than it was originally. So I emailed them, they came back to me, and this is what they sent me. They sent me the, um, yeah, Henrik Lundqvist, was it Purple Diamond Auto, uh, number two out of ten. Like, nice card. And then it got me thinking that I've never opened a box of Allure before. So, today, we're going to open that. So, uh, Connor, can you uh, hold that, please? Thank you. So let's, um, you know what, let's just get right into it. Um, I've seen it online, I've seen uh, other people break them and, and a box of them, and they look really nice, really sharp. And I just realized that my mic is not plugged in, so there we go. Now we might sound a little bit different on video. Hopefully uh, we heard all that before. Long story short, Upper Deck sent me that, liked it, never opened a lure before, just bought a box now. And uh, we're going to open it. So before I do, here's all the, uh, yeah, that's all your stats and everything. So you can pause it if you want and take a look at all the odds. But as usual, we don't care. We just want to open up some cards and have some fun. So let's see, uh, let's see what we can pull out of this. There's some pretty nice cards, a lot of reflect, like very reflective. Um, so I know that my kids are really going to like uh, all the base cards that they get out of it. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was harder than it had to be. Okay, big square box for how many packs, Harris? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can still count to eight. Uh, okay, I'll put that there. And let's uh, we'll just kind of reach and let's just start opening and see what we can get. Uh, if you haven't seen the channel before, my kids, uh, me and my daughter are Oilers fans, my son's a Calgary fan, and they're just getting into it now. So I thought, you know what, these would be nice, because, uh, oh, look at that, we started off with a Capo Caco rookie card. That's, uh, that's a nice start. Like that. And I thought, you know what, even if uh, we're getting some base cards now, hopefully we get some Oilers and Flames, the kids will, uh, will really like that. Uh, so we got Noah Dobson, Allure Top 50, and we started off with uh, a jersey uh, swatch. Dante Fabro, a rookie jersey swatch. Are these numbered? No, not numbered, but uh, still, nice card. A lot of reflection, refraction to them. Uh, Joel Esperance, uh, that's a rookie card. Um, so really the only base card we got was uh, Sidney Crosby, and that's, uh, if you're gonna get a base card, it's a nice base card to get. All right, so it's just six packs, or six cards per pack. Eight packs, so this isn't gonna be a very long video. Oh, I can already see my daughter's gonna like the next base card underneath um all right so we got claude Giroux. oh we got this mc con mcdavid uh mcdavid i don't know i i don't know some guy it's just a base card uh beneath him we got a uh, zach senishin uh pink rookie uh variant um i don't know if these are hard to hit or not but it's uh, it's a very nice card as you can see, they all have a little bit of a curve to them. Uh, just every card in the pack is, and I, it must be from the heavy amount of foil they use on them. Um, that's a nice card. Uh, and then we got one of these die cuts of uh, Mark Shifley. What do they call them? White Rainbow, right. Uh, it's got a little bit of a pit in it, it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, it looks like a little... Uh... Yeah, the camera's not focusing too well on these. There it is. Looks like a little pin half hole. It didn't go quite go through. Anyways, nice card still. Uh, and then we got the uh, Brady Kachuk, the better of the Kachuk brothers, and uh, Lee and Drysidle. So there you go. So we got uh, the McDavid and the Drysidle. My daughter's going to be happy. Let's see if we can't get some flames for my son. Uh, but let's uh, let's hit something big here. Yeah. Let's see. Look at that. The whole the whole pack is all bent. All right, so we got a Brise Bois rookie card. Uh, Alex Dabrinka base, Max Verono. Okay, and then we got a red die cut rookie of Noah Dobson. All right, 
So we'll put that one there. Uh, the next one we got a, a rookie of Joel Farabee and a rookie of Carl Grundstrom. So we're already, I'm noticing, we're what, one, two, three, four, five. So what, we're three packs in? And um, it seems to be really, really heavy on the on the rookie cards, which I'm not complaining, but it just makes me wonder, okay, so value-wise, uh, later on down the road, if, uh, you know, Joel Farabee gets to be a superstar legend, um, is his rookie card going to be worth much in the Allure product? Because it seems to be, uh, that must be a very high print with the amount of rookies that we're getting. So something to think about if you're an investor, if you're looking at, uh, you know, buying cards to invest in and hold on to for years and hoping their value will go up. Uh, this might not be the product, in my opinion. Uh, of course, I can't guarantee anything, but uh, yeah, just my thoughts initially. Uh, so let's go on with the Jimmy Schultz, rookie. Uh, Dave Oterbine and base card. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, we got two hits on this one here. We got an open ice die cut. Look at that, you can see right through. Okay. Ooh. Um, yeah, they're just trying to cheap out on giving us less product. Um, open ice, Andre Shvetsnikov. So that won't be a rookie then for Shvetsnikov, but it's, uh, it's, it's still an okay little insert. Uh, and then our auto rookie auto pass that we have in behind it of uh, Eric Brandstrom, the Ottawa Senators. So they're our sticker auto. And the jersey piece, so I'm guessing it's probably just going to be game more or not game use, but uh, what does it say here? Just memorabilia has been certified. Anyways, it's a it's a pretty flashy card though. It's a, it's very nice. So if um, I I think this would be more of a kind of a box that you're looking for players that you personally collect. Um, those are the ones that you're gonna. Oh, sorry, hit the camera. Those are the ones that, uh, that this might appeal to a little bit more. Uh, and then you got Nathan McKinnon, uh, base card. You know, I just realized I'm going to put this down a bit because I'm not even seeing half the cards because they're, they're running out of room up there. I can't reach that far. All right, we got a Dante Fabro, another top 50, Philip Zadina this time. Put him with the Noah Dobson there. Uh, we got a Trent Frederick, and this is again those white rainbow. See, I'm not a huge fan of die cut cards because when you put them in the card holders, they don't fit. So, for example, if we got a really massive hit, I don't have it on the table here, but if we had a really massive hit and we want to put it into what's called a one touch, it's kind of like that middle card I'm pointing. It's kind of like that middle card right there. See, it's a it's two piece of of uh, plastic. And then it, it hooks in, there's a magnet on the top that clips it shut. Now those are designed for four corner cards. So you get a card like this in there, it might still kind of bounce around and stuff. So you gotta be really careful on what you put these in if you end up hitting something that's like really good value. Let's say you found a Wayne Gretzky autograph card like this. How are you gonna protect it? You're gonna to wanna to go in a top loader uh, just because it might bounce around in a one touch that you would normally use. I hope that makes sense. And if not, well, I guess you'll agree with my wife. I don't make sense. Okay, so we go with uh, Balsers next with uh, another rookie card. Uh, and then we got a rookie of Quinn Hughes. Uh, that uh, I hear he might be a good guy to get. And then John Carlson. Um, you know what, that Quinn Hughes, let's move him over there. I mean, it's not autographed, it's not a patch, it's not a numbered card. So that's what I was talking about earlier. When you, you get a really good rookie card out of this, it... Quinn Hughes has the potential to be a superstar in the next five to ten years where his numbers could be just outstanding. He's going to be a really good player. Now, of all of rookie cards, that's a rookie card. It's an authentic upper deck rookie card. Is there going to be much value to it? Probably not. Um, it's not going to be like, um, you know, you get his young gun, which would uh, go up in value, definitely. But I haven't seen the value on this. I don't know. It could be worth more than I'm thinking in my head. Um, all right, let's keep going. We got a John Tavares, Patty Kane, uh, Abramov rookie, a uh, Hirose rookie, but this one, this one looks different. Okay, let's put these down. You see the sides don't have that white striping on it. So I don't know, this must be some kind, it doesn't show anything different there. It must be some kind of variant of it. Um, also, it's got like the gold lines there. This doesn't have that. 
So all the other rookies look like this card here. So we'll, we'll keep that one off to the side. Uh, and then we get a Noah Dobson, another one of these uh, white rainbow. And that's a rookie die cut. And Noah Dobson, again, he has the potential of being a, a pretty special player. Uh, and then we get a Brock Besser blah, base card. Canuck. All right, we got uh, two more packs. You know what? This one feels thicker than this one, which means this one will probably have a better hit because I'm thinking it's the other one. If that makes sense. And let's keep going. Uh, John Gibson. Oh, sorry, the camera's a different angle now. And then we got Colton Pareko. And we got another one of these pink ones. And this time it's Cody Glass. Cody Glass is a good one. That's a pink rookie. Uh, but again, they're not numbered. So I don't know. They, they might not be as special as I'm thinking they are. They just look really cool, though. Uh, we got a Winter Storm Warning. Patrice Bergeron. Okay. Well, I'm sure you can go with the top 50. Oh, this might be a nice one. Red die cut of um, this other Hughes guy. Uh, what's his name? Jack? Yeah, that's a red die rookie. So this is where I'm talking again, like I said earlier. Okay, Jack Hughes. Again, very good potential of being a very good superstar. This is a rookie card of his, but how am I going to protect it? Am I going to put it in one of those one touches? No, I think I'll put it in a penny sleeve and a top loader. Um, you got to be careful too, because you see how it's bent? A lot of these cards are all kind of bent like that, but we'll uh, keep the Hughes brothers together. Uh, oh, a couple more cards there. Aho and Hurdle. All right. And the last pack. I forgot how bent that was. Something thick there. So let's uh, go like this. So we got uh, Vasilevsky. Stanley Cup champion Vasilevsky. Uh, Zach McEwen, rookie. A Drew Doughty regular card. Blake Lazotte in the top 50. I got so many of him in uh, like just in a group breaks that we did over the last few months. And the final card, it's a thick red card of Nico Sturm. Rookie patch, well not patch, jersey. Rookie jersey. Um, again, not numbered though. So I didn't come across anything that was numbered. Um, let's put these here. So nothing numbered, and if you look at the base cards, oh, that was a top 50. If you look at the base cards of, of Drew Doughty here, that's where it has all these white lines coming across. And well, that's what the rookie ones are. So I think this is just a, a base card, the rookie set, because uh, they look very, very similar to the regular base cards. Whereas if, um, if you have, like this one here looks completely different, but it actually looks a lot like this rose parallel of that. So they're just numbered. They're not special numbered or letter or anything in front of them. Yeah, interesting. It's my first box of this I've opened. I haven't really looked into it very much. But uh, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, to me, that looks like quite a bit uh, for, for the price that you pay. Uh, a lot of times in these packs, you you get one hit in the in a pack, and you get like 24 packs. But this was only eight packs, and it seemed to have a lot more hits in each pack. And yeah, that was actually a lot of fun to rip open. And I think uh, I think my kids are really gonna like the the shine to these too. I'll give them all the base cards. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. This product's like a year old. Maybe you have more information than I have on them. I haven't really uh, I haven't really looked too deep into it. But um, yeah, it was fun to open. So thanks for watching and uh, have a great night.